Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Cool Gamers here, Coolsville Gamers. If you haven't noticed, not Deluxe, the black side of the rainbow. <laughs> and today I'm going to be telling you guys about some, some of my past years. Basically, I want to let you guys know more about me and my life, so that's what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, this Sega of my life is going to be called Little Rascals, because when I was really young... I was quite the rascal, um, you could say. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the t first time, like, the time I uh, went to the pool and I almost drowned, ladies and gentlemen. When uh, I was so reckless when I was a little kid, ladies and gentlemen. Like, so this is what happens. Me and my friends after school, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Pokemon, so we say we're gonna get Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I asked my dad if I could go across the street, he was like, yeah, in that time I lived in a um, townhouse, so I just went across the street and played with my friend, we played Yu-Gi-Oh for a minute, and then my friend saw like people going to the pool and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure you needed passes and an adult to go with you. And then, like, we were just like, what the hell, an adult? F it, YOLO, YOLO. <laughs> so what we did was we both went inside saying we were going to get some more cards, hit our swing trunks inside our uh, jackets. I don't know how they didn't see it. It was really funny, though. Uh, so we both met up at the park right behind our house, and the pool was about, like, a two three minute walk it was still in our neighborhood it was a community pool so we just went there uh actually what we did was there was a guy at the main counter but me and my friend his name was actually david we like army crawled when i say we army crawled we army crawled like around to the bathroom so that he wouldn't see us and it was so funny i'm pretty sure he saw us because we heard him laughing but I don't think he cared much at all. I think he was just astonished that we were army crawling inside. So we get inside and we see some of our other friends. Now our other friends are actually older, but like in our neighborhood, everyone knew each other. Uh, and we were pretty cool with the older kids. I guess we were in, uh, I think first grade and they were in fifth grade. So yeah, we were cool with them. They're like, yo, what's up? Come to the pool. And back then, all I knew was the little kiddie pool, that little uh, centimeter pool. So I jump into the, so I go into the kiddie pool, and they're like, what are you doing there? David knows how to swim, I don't. So that's the difference. All right, so David goes in. He goes in the pool perfectly fine. I go in the pool. I'm at, like, the three-foot section on my tippy toes, chilling, you know, doing cannonballs, splashing each other. And then they're like, yo, guys, come on to the deep end. And when they say deep end, they meant, like, 10 feet deep end. And there was no way I was going there without swimming. But uh, being the little rascal that I was, <laughs> I went there, and I was like, I don't know how to swim. And they're like, come on, it's easy, man. All you have to do is move your foot, move your arms, just swirl it around. I didn't know how to swim, but I got it now. I like, really? Yeah, he was like, once you get in here, it's just going to be instincts, dude. Just dive in, and it'll be a lot easier because you float back up. I mean, I'm a little kid. I don't know that when you, when you're underwater and you're not moving, you float back up. But when you're all just, 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 just splashing on water and stuff like that, you stay down and you actually sink. I did not know that for anything. So what I do is I go on the diving board. Everyone's like, "Yeah, Henry, woo!" And I, I was like, "All right, I could do this. I could do this. I don't even know how to swim, but I could do this. Thug life, YOLO." So I uh, jump in and. Dude, like, I didn't know how to get back up. I, when I say I didn't know how to get back up, I didn't know how to get back up. All I remember was I was in the water, and I was, like, coughing up water on someone's back. That's the last thing I remember. Just going, <coughs> and water was coming out. Then the lifeguard asked, where's my parents? And I'm over there thinking, oh, my goodness, I'm going to get my ass whooped. <laughs> oh my god I was over there thinking oh my goodness my dad is going to beat my ass he didn't I, I don't really get bubble things but I, I, I thought that was gonna be the time 
So what happens was I thought I was gonna be in so much trouble. So she asked for my parents. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go get them. I walked outside, guys. This is a true, true story. I walked to the front. I just ran away. Yes, I ran away. But little did I know, my neighbor was at the pool that day, and uh, my neighbor and my parents are sort of close, I guess. And she saw what happened. And I went home in the evening. We were eating dinner and stuff like that. And the neighbor comes knocking on the door, saying. Henry, are you alright? I saw what happened. Like a nosy little... Mm, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Nosy mofo. She's a nosy mofo. I hate those nosy neighbors. You know, those neighbors that just want to get in all your business and stuff. You know, that, that's pretty annoying. So what happens is, she comes in. She says, Henry, are you alright? The lifeguard told me that you almost drowned. We all saw it. Are you okay? My dad was like, what do you mean he almost drowned? Where? It's like at the pool. He said he told you. You don't know? And then you're like, no, I don't know. And then you're like, hmm. And then I was scared for my life, just sitting down, quiet in the back, like wishing that sh she would never have came and that I could go back in time and like stab her and kill her or something like that. But no, that's pretty uh, intense. So she comes in and she just talks about how I drowned and the lifeguard saved me. She left and I thought I was in so much trouble. My dad asked why I went to the pool and I said because we were trading with some guy. I made up a lie like a little kid always lies. A stupid lie too. I said well me and my friends were going to be trading and he asked us to meet up at the pool. And then what happened was I slipped and fell in the deep end. Yeah, that's that that was he obviously knew that was a lie. But I guess he doesn't care. Like I guess parents they choose and pick which stuff they're gonna get in trouble with. So then um my dad takes me on a drive. Honestly, I thought I was gonna die. I thought he was gonna like jump me off a bridge or something like that. <laughs> but no, my dad loves me. So he so what he ended up doing was take taking me to swimming lessons and I learned how to swim and everything turned out fine. And that was the time I almost died for my father. <laughs> JK, JK, I'm joking. And that was the time that I almost drowned. I hope you guys like this uh, little rascal series. I have a bunch of stories from when I was a little kid and even middle school. And I'm getting some high school stories right now. So I hope you guys like that. Like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget, guys, stay. Have a deluxe, coolified day. Drink.